I'm Diamond One. Uh oh. And this is how you play against a jackal. All right, all right. So you have to consider jackals are very aggressive players. Right. So what you want to do is beat them to the punch. I'm Diamond One. Oh, the pre fire. I'm Diamond One. Okay. I'm Diamond One. I mean, I'm not a professor of Mystic Siege player, but this good is a really crazy I guess. trick you should start using on Chalet. This works best in a duo, and have your duo run a. Is this where you like fuse from top canine? Like Asher Zofia, have them upside down repel on the window to safely yep. open up where I place that breach charge. Then, if you come up to Mazine double and place your cluster charge at the highest top point you're able to place it in the center of the window, it will then send a single puck flying towards that hole and take out anyone playing the wall or any utility. I love stuff like that. I had somebody try doing that to me in a, in a ranked game though, like on my team, he just kept fusing and I almost died because of it. Like he, he did it like four times. <laughs> Load the kill clip. Was that, is this a 1v5? Yeah, it is. Oh my goodness. Not that the kill 1v5. Bro, bandit iron sights are so nice. Oh yeah. <clears throat> How to open full wall with ace. Yep. Here you go. This trick is actually insane, by the way. I actually don't know why people don't do this more. I feel like that's a really nice trick. I wonder what the success rate on this play is going to be. Oh, the play is happening. No way this works, As long bro. as Solus dies or backs away. No way this works. Solus, I got this. I trust you. Oh my god, it's working. Is he like behind something? Like is there something he has his back up against besides the wall that's like covering him? I, I'm not I don't I'm not really like familiar with this map, so I don't know. But wow, I cannot believe Oh there is, there's like a filing cabinet. Wow. That is funny, bro. That is funny. Oh my god. Wow. Yo, really quickly, before we go into the rest of these clips here, if you guys are enjoying the video, consider liking the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Turn those notifications on. I do post daily here on the channel, so it would mean a lot to me. Helps out the video if you guys were to do that. And check out G Fuel. The link's down below in the description. Use code SHOCK. Get 30% off your order. Check out the Siege Black Guys X G Fuel Collector's Box. The link is down there. Once again, use code SHOCK. Going to get 30% off your order. Let's get back into these TikToks here. What do we got? I might have to turn the volume down a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. Oh my God. A silent buff in the start of this new season. Silent Look how buff. good he is now. Oh. What silent buff? Ah, oh. What? You no. should avoid. That's an alibi buff. Caviera, Clash, Blitz, Bonte. Unless you know someone who right. religiously plays that operator every single match, there's no point. I would rather have you ban the defaults of Valk, Mira, Thatcher, Jackal. Doc is a bit more of a ban. Solus is even a ban. She's pretty strong. But yeah, Solus is really good. Really banning anybody else. I'm champion, and this is how you get free kills while defending basement on Clubhouse. Oh my god, I know who this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm crouched behind this. I never watched any of their TikToks. Pixel peak on the kitchen hatch. They can't see me. I can see them, and I'm getting free kills off. And they can't even shoot me back. They can see you if they prone, but it's hard because if you're the one holding the angle first, you're normally the one to get the kill. Although, like sometimes you can't have it to where like all you see is their legs, so it could be impossible to get a headshot. But yes, he's this angle is mostly right. Overpowered. It is very strong. I'm chilling right here, aren't I? But what about Mame? Hey, hey there it is. is. We got two people pushing and I'm holding. I'm holding. No way I'm someone prones also. and peaks the same angle again. Listen, if you see your teammate prone and peak this angle and then they die, the last thing you want to do is immediately repeat the shit, same man. prone I'm angle. I also play though. Twitch at Pro Girl Kisser. Link is also in my TikTok bio. If you guys if you want to show up, I love talking to you guys and thank you so much for watching. Oh yeah. Ascends lineup on Oregon. Okay, here we go. I was hoping to see a lot of like sense lineups, but it just turns out he's pretty like useless for the most part. All right, all right, let's see it. Ooh, that's actually nice. Ooh, that's really nice. See, for like things like this, I feel like he's so useful, I guess. 
in a sense. But at the same time, like you could just throw like smokes to cover this. So like his gadget can be really cool. This tip will but instantly make you better at Capitao. It's just kind of outshine by smokes. Walls, floors, ceilings, or hatches. Nah. Okay, on my second channel, I made a short where Vex and I showed this off. I, I didn't know it still worked because they patched bullet holes. I'm pretty sure this doesn't work anymore, but maybe it still does. Spot, pull out your crossbow and fire a flame dart through the hole. This trick is so cool, though. You can use so cool, the diffuser from below or force defenders out of their positions. Fall Hell off yeah. Did you know you could do this? Let's see. Well, they're not gonna come this way again. Oh, I shoot around the C4 to make a drop? Yeah, absolutely. This is a... Uh, this is a trick you have to learn if you play a lot of Give me vertical with C4s, C4 etc. It's just so hard sometimes. <laughs> it's stuck on nothing. Yeah. This will make a great clip if I get my C4 back and then C4 somewhere. There we go. All right, here we go. Please get the C4 kill. Yep, that's it. Nice. Hi, TikTok. This is the luckiest <laughs> kill I've ever seen in Rainbow Six. Oh, but what do you think? Hello? He just randomly floor banged you. He just he randomly floor banged you. Wait, is he gonna shoot the drone? No, he oh. just shot the fucking drone, bro. Oh. This is the new operator. Service, That's unlucky. AKA defender IQ. And this is why she's the best defender for being aggressive. True. I love doing plays like this. We'll I've done this a couple times. It's so satisfying. The and then they're dead. Random feed tips and tricks. Part one. All right. You're actually pushing Attic alone as an ace, and it's a bandit on the board. You could actually toss one of your Somas on this soft wall below it, and the first Soma will destroy a piece of the wall. Well, the second Soma should destroy some of the bandit charges, if not all of them, on the wall. Nice. That's actually a pretty cool trick. Definitely won't work against Cage. This but is the best setup for tons nice. of kills and an easy defense win on Nighthaven Lab. Oh, this this map. is for the kitchen bomb site, where you'll throw a proximity mine at the bottom of the main Oof. stairs and on this outside door, which you'll want to castle as well. Castle off the connector room and reinforce the outside walls here. Make holes on the Not single the wall to stress. office and to rotate at the top of the stairs. Castle off the east side window up here and then reinforce the wall beside the rotate hole. Finally, make some floor holes in both the office hallway and the connector room to get oh your free goodness. kills on the unsuspecting attackers through the floor. Listen, <laughs> good advice. Good Good tips but these are the people i'd be playing against and ranked meanwhile like i've played night haven like a dozen times and i don't know the map <laughs> you can contest the outside hatch here by spraying this is a skill issue on my end i need to learn and it that's why i'm not a professional Rainbow Six Siege player but on i need Bill to put the time into, into it laundry, you can get on top of these washing machines and drop into this sink you can then prone and you're pretty Wait, much what? invisible to anybody coming through the door by the time they realize oh. you're there it's oh yeah i've seen late. this Hot it's delivery. so annoying did you know? Did I know what? I've not actually seen this before, I don't think. What is going on here? Is this gonna stop the mute? Wow. That is insane. I actually did not know about this. That's crazy. Let me know down in the comments if you guys knew about this ace trick. I didn't. Maybe just because I don't play a lot of ace. I don't play like hard breach or support at all. So maybe it's just a skill issue of mine. When you're playing castle, pre-punch the castle barricades. So it'll break easier than <clears> the enemies <throat> will expect it to. A castle barricade takes nine hits yep. to destroy. So if you punch it seven Double times, sword, the enemy will be surprised with an open door if they punch it twice. This way, you get a sound cue first, and then you can prepare for the enemy to be standing there in the open. If you punch the barricade on one side, you won't even see this on the other side. So oh, it's do they a change good it? way to surprise some You used to be able to attackers. see it on both sides. That's Random cool, they changed it. Tips and tricks, part two. All right. If you actually shoot a hole through this drone hole oh. in the bathroom of theme park, you'll get a nice sneaky angle to the doorway of gong room, and you may be able to get a kill or two. I happened to kill one and down one with my teammate comes up. A couple seconds wow, later. that's actually a cool angle. So each tip a day until I hit 40k. Here's a dumb trio Q strat you can use next time you're attacking kids in dorms in Oregon. Three operators you're gonna need are Ying, Amaru, and Buck. 
Buck and Amara are going to win kitchen below kids. Buck is going to back out anyone who might be in case to flash out any defenders. But this is happening. Ying is going to play attic window, try to burn any ADSs with her smokes, and then win pit aggressively with her candelas and pre fire anyone who might be on the road. Whilst Ying's candelas are going off, Amara is going to use the audio of Ying's candelas to mask her going through the hatch and quickly planting in a free sighting kids. No strat and siege is foolproof, but try this next time you're in a free when you're attacking Oregon. Let me know how it goes. Let me Sounds know like what's in the comments. Chester and, and I do this all the time, but we push. don't we don't attack play like vertical. A champion in 30 seconds. Pre-plan your attack and pick an operator accordingly. Pre-place your drone in the area that you want to enter. Drones is important. This will save you a lot of time and get you inside the building quicker. Work off the information and take the ground quickly. Start joining the first areas you need to complete your strategy. It's okay to yep. take your time because map control is the most important thing of the game. Now set your first drone for a flank cam and start setting up your utility. If there are any defenders stopping you from going through these steps, take them out first. Once you start setting up, start leaving flank cams because that's when people are going to start flanking the most. Use your last drone for the execute information, coordinate with your team, and that's when bodies start dropping. Communicate your plant spot and have the team coordinate. Now repeat these steps every round and I guarantee you, you will. Here's how to perfect your ash rushes. You will improve, yes. But the thing, the thing that is difficult about all of this is it's so much easier said than done because so much BS can happen in Siege. And oh man, trying to trying to do like an ex, like a, a nice execute in ranked when you're solo queue is almost impossible. So if you want to achieve this, in my opinion, you really need to get a five stack. But and have the team coordinate. Now repeat these steps every round. Affect your ash rushes. Ash rush. If you run through a door or nope, wall, you want to shoot it in the corner. From thirty to fifty damage. Instead, yep. angle the charge upwards. Since the damage spreads out in a cone, you'll take no damage from barricades and only a little bit from walls. This can oh, be yes. used to take quick map control or when enemies aren't paying attention in sight. Happy rushing and make sure to follow for more tips. Easy. When you're playing Nomad, keep in mind an air jab only activates with when four contact. The ground, yep. So placing an air jab on a window high. Oh, I always cringe when I see people do this. Like, oh my god. I, I, I used to see it on Clubhouse a lot when, like, Nomad first came out. It was... On the wall oof, won't work. Rough to see. You have to place it close to the floor so when the defender jumps out and they hit the floor, that's when they get air trapped. Not just yep. outside of a window. I think people mess this up on console a lot, especially for, like, yellow stairs. They'll place one for, like, the yellow window. And they'll expect it to like air jab someone or like maybe even the piano windows. They'll place them there and expect it to air jab someone when they hop out, but it just won't. <laughs> you know, they have to touch the ground first. I'm not a professional Rainbow Six Siege player, but did you know that Grim can shoot his bees through a wall with the assistance of Thermite? If Thermite places his charge on the reinforcement not. and Grim shoots his bees on the charge, then Thermite picks it back up. Your uh -huh. bees will then go through the reinforced wall, giving you intel on whoever's on the other side. That is cool. I did not know that. And I actually just re I just reset the video. <laughs> Great. Operator All right, we're back where we were. Speed running a operator tier list for all the speed operators. Speed running operator, operator tier list. All right, we'll see. We'll Number see. Number one, Sledge. Sledge is an A tier. Actually, A tier. S tier. Thatcher yeah. A tier. Smoke S tier. Mute S tier. Oh Thermite, man, he's actually speed running this, bro. E Listen, I've done enough. I've done enough operator tier lists in my days to know it is hard to speed run this. If he makes a few mistakes, that is understandable. It's hard to speed run these because you. Like, you have to, like, seriously give a lot of these decisions thought on, like, how they interact with different operators and etc. So, like, speedrunning these are so hard. I used to get so much hate on my tier list, bro. If you guys want to, like, spark some engagement, spark some controversy, make a tier list, bro. People will always disagree. Even if you're right, they will always disagree. It is great. Ash, B tier. Let me know if you guys tier. agree with his uh, tier list in the comments. If you're good, he's good. If you're bad, he's bad. I'll put him C. I'll that is B. true. That is true. Monty, situational C. Twitch C. Doc B. Rook. Doc B. Don't B. put Rook in B. Fuse. If you're good, he's good. I'll put him C. Uh, Glass D. Really? Chonka B. Chonka? Capcan B. Blitz B. That's e. not B. IQ E. Bandit B. Bandit Yeager, B? S. Buck A, Frost B. That's C. All right, there we Blackbeard. Go. Mm, I would say F. Yeah, he's pretty bad. Uh, IQ's meant to be D. Uh, Valkyrie S, Capital yeah. C, Cav D, Habana yeah. C. Only Echo, C. Really? I want to say say E. Jackal A, Mira S. Oh, definitely. Ying, B, Legions B, Zof is A. LSB, L -B. Doka B, he's pretty uh, strong now. Doka B goes higher than that, I think. Pedro's C. I think Doka goes a little Lion, bit higher than that. 
I put a man. I, I put, put a line at like C. If your coordination is good, situational. She's B. Alibi. Alibi is still right so now. good. Well, Come I just want to say something. Go. Alibi is still really good. I've been playing more Alibi since they like quote unquote nerfed her and they took away the 1.5. I've been playing her with just the normal Hollow. And I prefer it over the 1.5. I'm sorry. If you guys are like upset about the 1.5 change, I'm happy about it. I see so much less alibi. I can finally play her without people auto picking her. And the hollow is a ton of fun. I used to play hollow even before the 1.5. Um, or even when she had the 1.5. So and that's my opinion on that. B, Mav, S, Mav is great. Clash D, nah, bro. Clash goes higher than that. Come A, on. At least C. At least C. S. Good luck. Don't give me hate. I'm saying nah, good bro, luck. Nah, not an S tier, bro. No. A, knock, knock B. A little higher than that. Knock B. Yeah, Warden, there you go. D. Uh, yeah. Amaru. D. Just hell Mary. Goyo needs... Goyo's actually really good yeah, now. Yeah, Goyo's A. really good. Cali, Cali's pretty D, good. Nah, Cali's higher than that. A. Well, my A, but Cali D. Oryx A. Malusi's... She's A. <laughs> Heroes, I'll put him A. He's really underrated. Aruni's A. He's all right. Aruni's great. I love Aruni. A. Flores is S tier, bro. Tiburt is S. Osha is A. Osha is great. B. Azami's S. Yeah, Azami is S tier, definitely. Sense is... Oh, shit. This guy is fucking... F. 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 No. And Grim, I'll put T. This is really? my list. I'm Diamond 1. I'm the best player in the game. And if you have any disagrees, ratio... Oh my god. I mean, how can you argue with that? He just, if you disagree ratio, how can you argue with that, guys? I mean, clearly, there's nothing we can say or do to, to combat this tier list here. Let me know if you guys agree with it down in the down in the comments. I mean, obviously, like you said, it's not going to matter. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe if you're new, turn those notifications on as I do post daily here on the channel. Check out G with the link in the description. Use code SHOCK to get 30% off. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.